Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we're talking about handling conflict and misunderstandings with students. As educators, it's inevitable that we will encounter conflicts and misunderstandings with our students. It's important to remember that these situations are opportunities for growth and learning, not just for the students, but for us as well. So, how can we handle these situations in a productive and positive way? First, it's important to stay calm and approach the situation with an open mind. It's easy to get defensive or reactive when we feel attacked or misunderstood, but this will only escalate the situation. Take a deep breath and try to see things from the student's perspective. Next, try to listen actively to the student. This means fully focusing on what they are saying and acknowledging their feelings and concerns. Don't interrupt or try to solve the problem immediately, just listen and validate their feelings. Once the student has had a chance to express themselves, it's your turn to share your perspective. Try to use I statements to share how the situation has affected you, rather than placing blame on the student. For example, instead of saying you disrespected me in front of the class, try saying I felt disrespected when you spoke to me in that tone in front of the class. This helps to de-escalate the situation and encourage a more productive conversation. It's also important to remember that conflicts and misunderstandings can often be caused by miscommunication or a lack of understanding. Consider asking clarifying questions or offering additional information to help the student better understand your perspective. Finally, try to find a solution that works for both parties. This may involve compromise or finding a middle ground. It's important to remember that conflicts and misunderstandings are opportunities for growth, so try to approach the situation with a growth mindset. Remember, handling conflicts and misunderstandings with students takes time and practice, but with patience and understanding, we can turn these situations into positive learning experiences for everyone involved. Thanks for watching. We hope these tips have been helpful. If you have any additional tips or strategies for handling conflicts and misunderstandings with students, we'd love to hear them in the comments section below.